Good evening, everyone. We start things off tonight at X Stadium. Wichita State took game one of its series with Northwestern last night. 8-2 to two this one tonight. A little bit closer. Let's head to the bottom of the eighth inning. The Shockers with a 1-0 lead. And Casey Gillespie takes matters into his own hands with the bases loaded. A home run for Gillespie. Wichita State goes on to beat Northwestern with the shutout. 5-0 the final score. And Casey Gillespie excited about the win. Luckily, I got it kind of right down the middle. And just tried to put a good swing on it. We need all the momentum we can take. It's kind of been a roller coaster ride for us this year. And it's good to get these wins on us. And hopefully we can come out tomorrow and get another one. That was another one like last night that uh, was really good tonight. So uh, they'll have more of the same on the mound tomorrow night. The final game of the series between these two teams is tomorrow afternoon. Now to Manhattan, where with the win tonight, Kansas State can clinch a share of its first Big 12 title in 80 years. Standing in the way, the Oklahoma Sooners. OU took an early 3-0 lead in this one, but don't count this K-State team out. The Cats able to add three runs in the bottom of the sixth. And the very next inning, it's Tanner Witt at the plate. The ground ball up the middle and that would score RJ Santagate. The Wildcats tie this one up at four apiece. Bottom of the ninth inning, all tied up at five. It's Witt coming up big again. The wild pitch and here comes Witt running home and K-State beats OU six to five and clinches a share of the Big 12 title. Kansas State also takes the Big 12 triple crown with conference titles in football, basketball and baseball. The only other school to do that is Texas in 2005. Well, game two of the regular season for the Wichita Wingnuts. Kevin Hooper's team shut out the T-Bones last night, 8 nothing. But his guys didn't have an easy go of it the second time around. The Nuts drop game two tonight with Kansas City. The final score at Lawrence Dumont, 5-4. to four. And Kansas City, the Chiefs signed rookie free agent and former KU fullback Tobin Opurum to their roster today. After a week of OTAs, yesterday first-year coach Andy Reid got his first look at the entire team on the field all at once. And veteran receiver Jonathan Baldwin catching his eye. Coach Reed, uh, Coach Curry, those guys are uh, great coaches. You know, they're going to push all of us receivers and push the team as, uh, as a whole. And there's definitely a chance to uh, show what I could do. You know, he's done some good things. He had a couple of nice catches today. So he's working hard and, and uh, he's working on the little things. Uh, and that will help him down the road here. The first preseason game of 2013, just a few short months away on August 9th when the Chiefs open up on the road against the New Orleans Saints. Transitioning to the basketball court and Ben McLemore, the former KU star, spoke for the first time to Sports Illustrated today about allegations of his AAU coach Darius Cobbs accepting $10,000 cash for introducing McLemore to Rodney Blackstock a middleman with connections to the agents in Los Angeles. He told the magazine today he's more than willing to meet with NCAA investigators and had this to say about his former AAU coach, Combs. I've pushed him out of my circle. I didn't see no money going around. My mom hasn't seen no money going around. We don't know nothing about it. McLemore in Chicago for the NDA Combine and the KU star showing off his vertical today which was tops among all shooting guards. Some experts are predicting McLemore could be drafted as high as the number two overall pick. We'll have to wait and see how things play out when the draft gets underway on June 27th. I don't know that it will affect the University of Kansas at all, but I can pretty much predict we have not heard the last of the McLemore story. Yeah, I don't I think would so. Agree with you there. A surprise for a returning soldier. This man is reunited with man's best friend. That story's next. Stay tuned. Progress 